Hey everyone, welcome to a tracking video with Hans today. Uh, now, I'll say a few things about this uh, track before we get into some of the details of it. Uh, the conditions were actually incredibly challenging. The afternoon that we were tracking, we had winds of approximately 40 kilometers per hour uh, gusting. Uh, and in the footage that you see in front of you, uh, the wind is actually blowing from right to left uh, across the track. Now, you'll see that Hans actually has his nose down beautifully, um, working a lot of the ground disturbance and odor that's caught in the ground. Now you'll see here that Hans actually gets a little bit distracted, uh, but I give him a bit of a verbal correction uh, twice here, and he gets back to work really nicely. Now, I know that there was a distraction because one, there was a couple of uh, traders working off to the left there, uh, and two, because of the direction of the wind was blowing and the intensity on the track that he was displaying, nothing signified that those people were what he was tracking for in that particular circumstance. Now, it's also worth noting in this track that we're working double blind. Um, I try to work as many tracks as possible as I can with double blind tracking so that I am not uh, subconsciously uh, or consciously contributing to the success of the track. Uh, this is very much Hans and I here working as a team with me reading his body language um, and the conditions simultaneously to work through the problems that we're encountering here. Now, whilst uh, Hans is tracking along nicely here, I want to talk about a thing called the Clever Hans. Now, Hans was a horse that uh, was said to be able to do arithmetic. Um, so the owner would say two plus two to the horse, and the horse would, you know, stomp its hoof four times and, and stop. What was discovered, though, was that the owner of the horse was actually leaning forward ever so subtly on the fourth stomp, for example, uh, in the mathematical problem, and the horse is responding to that cue. So the horse couldn't do maths, unfortunately, uh, but the horse could respond to the subtlest of cues uh, to you know, check in and make sure it was doing the right thing. Dogs do the exact same thing to us when we're tracking. Now, you would have seen back a moment ago, we cleared this corner. Now, that whole time, Hans was never looking at me because I've got nothing to offer to him in terms of assistance. He has to work this out on his own. Now, there are ways I can help the dog as a team member, uh, such as when we're cutting tracks, but that's not what we're doing here. Hans has to solve this all for himself, so he doesn't come back you know, and look at me and try and pick up on my body language to see if he's doing the right thing. This is him solving these road crossings and corners all on his own. Own, which he's doing a really nice job of, especially in these high winds. Um, you know, I'm able to see when he's picking up on a bit of contact odor, um, so I can assist him a little bit as a teammate, uh, but I actually don't know where the track is a double blind tracking, so there's actually not much I can do to really assist him. Now, if you're doing predominantly uh, known tracks where you know where the track is, you know, you're going to be, whether you're conscious or about it or not, um, ever so subtly helping the dog. So adding in double blind testing to your tracks will really help identify where the problems are in your system, um, you know, because it's very easy to do single blind tests um, and have a dog that looks like an absolute weapon. Whereas here in this track, for example, this is all Hans and this is also us as a team working together. Uh, but there's no clever Hans cues here just a very clever Hans working the track.
All right, so now we're up to probably the coolest part of this entire track, which is the proximity alert that Hans gives. Now, Hans does something that Jeff Shetler calls the Stevie Wonder really nicely here. His head swings up, and I love that he pauses and he processes what he's smelling, and he explodes. He is fully aware. He's worked out the problem in that moment where he took to pause and process the uh, data he was collecting through his nose, and he goes absolutely berserk. Uh, this is obviously unmistakable proximity alert. We make an announcement, and you know, the trailer sits up. Uh, absolutely phenomenal work by Hans. Woo!